everybody. This is video C15 on counting, and this is permutations of elements, not all different. And this is practice. Remember, our formula here is going to be n factorial, our total number, r factorial, s factorial, s factorial. Those letters down there actually don't even matter. Just remember that this is for the repeats. That's your total number. Now, I, there's only so many questions where you're analyzing a word or even a number, but this can be used for other things. But here's my trick. Okay, so here's the question. How many ways can a cook -um distribute five loonies and toonies, three $5 bills and two $10 bills to her 14 grandchildren so that each child gets exactly one coin or one bill? Okay, so, this is my suggestion. Instead of trying to make life complicated, one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five loonies. One, two, three, four. And then five, five, five. And mm. X, X. I may be overcomplicating things, but one of the ways to do it is take whatever the question is and just code it as letters. And then it's just the same as all the word ones you've done. So I want to check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, because um, I think these questions always work with arranging with all of them. So there's four, or you could have just went, I think I'm thinking 14 children. And then there's going to be five for the toonies and four for the loonies and three for the fives and two for the tens. Yeah. As I did that, I'm thinking this didn't necessarily make it better. But there we go. So 14 factorial divided by 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Zero. There we go. I'm looking at the next question. I'm thinking I could write five Ts and then eight Ss. I could also go five and eight is a grand total of 13, right? Because that top number is your total. I to buy five factorial for your signs. Oopsies. That should be free now. And eight factorial for your signs. Yeah, I think that was definitely faster than writing out all of the letters. 13 factorial divided by five factorial divided by eight factorial. One, two, seven, eight. Oopsies. One, So the key here is just looking for things that are going to be the same. So those five things are all going to look like as soon as you see identical, boom, you know which formula is the only one that works when you have identical elements. So now that you've seen two, I'll let y'all pause the video and do the rest of the question. I hope you did. Let's see. Now, three and five and seven, that's going to give me 15 beads all together. And then we do a three factorial for the other one and five factorial for the green and seven factorial for the white. And 
You know, if we put it on a straight, it has to be in a line and they have to be identical except for color so that all the yellow beads look exactly alike. Um, Whoops, I did it again. Oh. There we go. Got this? All right, how many different orders can a team win four games and lose three games in a seven game round rubbing tournament? All right, how many games are they playing? What is the ground total? The answer is you can read the seven game tournament. It says seven game round robin. Or you could say that they won four times. And they lose three times. And we get 35. There we go. I'm loving this section. I just, I just, it's so cool. It's so easy. All right. How many five digit numbers? Can be made using that. Okay, so by factorial. And then we have one, two, three. So three factorial for the ones. And then we have two factorial for the threes. You don't need to put this stuff on the bottom, but it just helps me stay organized. And if you do do it and there's a mistake in your problem, I can at least follow along where the numbers are coming from. Five divided by three divided by two. Boom. This and options. Back in the old days, please. That's what we used to do, and then you'd go three, two, one, three, two, one, two goes into there once, two goes into there twice, five times to the ten. But calculators are much easier. All right, the very last one. Okay, so we're gonna walk nine blocks. So that's what you're doing. That's our total. And four factorial for the north, and five factorial for the east. But again, you could go one, two, three, four, one. Like that, and then how many ways can you rearrange? I used to think I've done every question. I don't think it makes it much simpler. So we got nine factorial divided by four factorial divided by five factorial. Can you how many can you And tada! There we go, folks. And just watch for that. So we had repeats of giving out amounts of money. We have books that are the same. We have beads, um, beads that are the same, winning and losing, digits, north and south. So just anything that where you have replicates, replication, repeats, or better yet, elements, not all different. You're going to use this formula. And, and oh, for example, here. See, there's only three letters there, but there was one, two, three, four things that are repeated. You just keep adding however many you need. And that, my friends, is the end of this video. And I hope this will be your like favorite section.